Beautiful day in New York City. Beautiful day in New York City to get some hair with my wife. She's getting her hair braided again. We're in the, yes, babe. I don't, I don't know why we have to make a video about it. It's a vlog. It's and a not video. a video. It's a vlog. The videos were done in like. It's a vlog, babe. The videos were done. Vlog. Please say vlog. Oh. When you say video, it cheapens it. <laughs> Vlogs were done in like 2000. Let's just tell the people what we're doing. We're, we're going to get. No, I'm going to get hair for my braids. I don't know what you're doing. I am vlogging today. My wife is getting her hair braided. So she's getting uh, hair from the hair spot, which doesn't stay open past, was it four, five? Four thirty. What kind of business, what kind of hair business doesn't stay open past 4.30? I don't know, I know, it's a lot, a lot of women get off of work late. I was shocked that it says 4.30. Um, I think it's kind of, inconvenient for a lot of people nonetheless i'm pumped to be going to the hair spot because my wife said it was a very unusual place i've never been to the hair place and while we're waiting for the hair i would like to discuss the bachelor oh, okay all right so we're going what's the name of the hair joint Lugo. All right, so we're on our way to Lugo's hair joint. I think I have to call Karen to ask her what I'm supposed to be getting because I forgot how much hair that I need and what kind. What Does color. They, do, they, do they sell the hair by the by the, the length, the weight, the color? You're asking me. This is only the second time I've been here. All right. Lugo's hair place. Okay. He's my, oh, gosh. Famous Lugo's. He thinks he's I only came here one time before. She doesn't want to. So you, got the, you got the wet and wavy hair, remember? You yeah. got to get the wet and wavy. Get wet and wavy hair, and then they match it to your, to your hair. Um, I think yours is like 14 inches. Or six inches. Yeah, you're good. All right, so my friend thinks that I should get blonde. Is that, that's not my look, is it? Like a little highlight? You think it's cute? Yeah, I don't like know. You're asking me. You don't want to ask. I have no idea. Nothing crazy. I'm just right? excited to be at Tony Lugo's. Yeah, oh my god, you should see him right now. Tony Lugo's hair spot. <laughs> right here a minute. Yo, if you need some extra hair, yo, this is its spot. Are you coming in? Yes. I That's my I wife. Love you. She's my client. Yes, yes. I love We're, I'm oh excited to be here for the hair. Please. Thank you, thank you. Glad oh to be here at Lugo's. God, I love that. Thank you. She's my wife. This is my we're wife. Gonna, we're going to uh, go Hello, wife. I'm vlogging. I vlog. I'm a vlogger. We're here at Lugo's. Exactly. I know you're private because I've seen you. I am. I'm the same way. She's private. I'm not. You get that Brazilian Remy, that Jerry curl. He's going to make the whole oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. I got to tell my okay. husband. I'm going to see uh, Get it all here. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Let me tell you. Lugos, I guess you guys are going to... Welcome to uh, your client. Yeah. Yes. Hi, I'm back. Hi, how, how are you doing, Walter? Doing? All right. It's my you. beautiful wife. We're getting some new Walter, hair today. I need oh, like uh, hi. six ounces of wet and wavy. And what color do you I guess uh, Auburn. Auburn? Well, last time I got... Did you guys keep a track of what color I got before? Um, no, oh, I'm showing the open, the light open, medium open. I got yeah. like this is fantastic. Oh gosh, babe, stop. I got like I don't remember. Yeah, I'm gonna really show you right time. now what I did. Like, like the bohemian braid, yeah. But it was like it was the like wet and wavy straight. That one, I remember, yeah, but it was like a little lighter. Yeah, well, we'll match your color, but that's the texture. Let me show you the color. Indian Remy, the Brazilian. Yeah, I need it like, because she just dyed my hair dark. You thought I was feeling you. You thought I was feeling you? You thought I was feeling you? You thought I was feeling you? Oh, no, that's light. There you go, sir. Okay. I don't know. Let me show you another one. Yeah, I don't know. 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 Yeah, I don't know.
Who, who, where does, that where does the hair come from? So we get it from all over the world, but we manufacture our own textures. Yeah, and then we do custom blending. Well, my wife loved getting her hair braided. Yeah. She looks so good doing it. Because I do the, okay, enough. Uh, you <laughs> okay, this is the shorter that we have. And then what she do is the hairdresser, she fold it like this to do like yeah, 14 right. inches. Oh. Uh -huh. It looks good on you. Thank you. <laughs> Look, like this example, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. What about for me? Oh, uh, we have a, the color too. We got the color. There you go. Wait, you put it out. You thought I was feeling you? You know the style that I have? Wait. Here, put it, put it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Little wraps. That's your, that's your wrap. I need some contrast. I like that. Oh, oh, look oh, uh, like, like this together. Mr. Two Cents is here. <laughs> Mr. So two cents is here and he's, he's got an opinion. Right? Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, that's good, Karen. Okay. So where, where does the hair come from? So we get, we have hair brokers and they collect raw hair for us. From actual people? From actual people, yeah. Different lengths and then we create our textures. Everything is done here. We have they a color it. department downstairs that wow. colors there. Yeah, we don't do hair that's already made in the pack bundle there. Everything is weighed, it's customized. And then you'll see the magic when she wets it, how it curls up just like her hair. Yeah. We've been around mm -hmm. since 1976. 1976. My father-in-law started in Wow. Brooklyn. Yeah. That's cool. So cool. This is a New York spot. It is, yeah. Flatbush Avenue. It's famous. It started in Flatbush Avenue 20, in Brooklyn? Yeah. Wow. Flatbush Avenue. We yeah. do, we supply hair for people who make wigs. We do people mm. who are allergic to packet synthetic hair. If they have sensitive scalp, this is the place they come because everything's real good in here. Has the, has, the, has the hair business gotten bigger and bigger? Well, we always come up against like new trends, but we've always stayed true to ourselves. Like people will say, oh, there's a new company and they make hair that's like, Oh, it's, it's like Bohemian. We are basic custom blenders. You come into Lugo with your hair texture, and that's what we concern about. Matching it, the color, the length. We have our own machines if you want wet. We do everything from scratch. I love Experts. it. Experts. So it. my husband and I, who does it, family business. I love it. I love it. I love that. You How many of these a, a day do you Chris do? Rock was doing oh, oh, yeah. yeah, we're doing at least like... 10, 12 pounds a day. 10, 12 pounds a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're matching all different colors. 10, 12 pounds a day. Yeah. Yeah. Like we don't advertise on front, but we know our hair when we see it. Yes. Hey, while we're in here, you want to talk about the bachelor last night? Oh, yeah, what do you want to say? Well, what do you want to say? Did, 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 I want to did, say. Did, have they always called it sex no. week? No. No. Don't you think that's crazy? Don't, don't you think that, that it's crazy in this day and age to calling it sex week? Yeah, well, people are sex positive nowadays. These young people are sex positive. So I, I think they veer towards calling it what it is. They, they are saying that that's what it's about. Fantasy is probably the opposite of what, it's like skirting around. When you say fantasy, what, what is that? So because they're sex positive nowadays. But uh, to me, it gave the, the assumption that you're going into them fantasy suites to get it popping. Now, we all know that you're going into the fantasy suites to get it popping. Yeah, no, but I just like, never heard it called sex, sex week. week. Now, what is your general takeaway from Zach, The Bachelor? Oh, he's faking the funk. He's trying to build. Look, you, know what I, you know what? I don't like nice guys. Nice guys are never sell, actually nice. Sell, sell. You can't be nice to everybody because when you're nice to everybody, you end up hurting somebody. So this guy, Zach, in Sex yeah. Week, Zach, yeah. he made a, um, a deal with himself that he wasn't going to have sex. Because he didn't stick with the deal. Well, but, but let me, he, he, he told all the women and he told Jesse Palmer, who looks a little heavy. I'm not, I'm not being judgmental. I know we all go through it. But, but he told Jesse Palmer, he goes... Bro, you know, they call each other bro. They talk yeah. bro talk. He said, bro, I've decided that during sex week, I'm not going to have sex with any of the women, any of the contestants. Because it is a show. Yeah. 
It is a, it is a yeah. show and it is a competitive show. Yeah. And so the first woman who we liked, um, the girl from New York, Ukrainian Jew, we were rooting for her. Yes, we were. Um, he, they were hot and heavy, but he went. Uh, oh yeah, when they were eating the food, they were like, they wanted to get it on, get it popping. Right? They were like steaming. For sure, I thought he was gonna have sex with her. Didn't do it. No. What I think happened is he caught blue balls. The second night, he went into the fantasy suite with the next girl who seemed to be having a That's breakdown during the it. day. That's why she got it. Yes. He really wanted to have sex with the other girl. And then he wound up hitting her with that Bobby Womack. Right. They, they, they did that old bump and grind. Yeah. And then he was all freaked out because they did the bump and grind. Mm -hmm. And he told Jesse. And then he made the dumb decision to tell the other women... Why are you kissing and telling, first of what all? What a dummy. Like, what does dumb dumb? Second of all, like, why are you telling the other girls, the next chick, that you're having sex with the other girl, but I'm not going to have sex with you? So, that... he, so he went and he told everybody. And my theory is, is that one... Why are you kissing and telling? No, well, the reason why is because he felt... I think it was his Catholic guilt. You, well, how do you know he's Catholic? Because he said it. Oh. He said that he was, so I think he felt guilty for having sex. So there's a reason why he put that thing up against him. I think he wanted to look like he was a good Catholic. In the boy. eyes of God. Yeah, to everybody, you know, everybody who's watching who he's put that out there. I really think that that's what it was. And then once he did it, I don't know. I he, you played yourself, he Zach. Played himself. He definitely played himself. And, 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 and yeah, so and anyway, he sent home the girl from New York. Uh, the Ukrainian Jewish they girl. They weren't right for each other. They weren't right she for each other. She would have ate him up and spit him out. She would have been bored with him after they got it on. He, she was too hot and sexy for him. And she, she was very serious and deep, but she would have been bored with him after a while. And so then she had sex with the second girl. And then he had sex with the second girl. And then he told the third girl that he had sex with the second girl. She snore. freaked out. Yeah, He's it. a snore. Yeah. And um, I just can't wait for the next episode of Vanderpump Rules. Oh, th hello. Now we're really talking television here. I mean, listen, we watch The Bachelor because it's just like in our house. It's there, it's there, it's there. and there's no Monday Night Football. Yeah, exactly. Honestly, The Bachelor, ever since they got rid of my man Chris Harrison, shout out to the great Chris Harrison, yeah. things have not been the same. No, no disrespect to Jesse Palmer, but you look bloated. I, why you, are you saying that? I'm just saying he looks tired. I don't think he a lot of times a body when he's, that's going to get... I'm just saying a lot of times he walks up to The Bachelor or The Bachelor and he's like... He's like heavy breathing. I'm like, yo, like, are you not working out? Like, you're all, the host of the biggest television show on TV. The least you yeah, can you do is hit he, the treadmill or something. He's probably got a lot of downtime, too, because it's the only, he comes in and out. He could probably get a good workout in in between scenes, right? But, the, but, but in general, The Bachelor, it's kind of like you know what's going to happen. I mean, it has its compelling moments. It ain't Bachelor Island. Bachelor Island. Oh, man, that's TV. That's, that's the, TV. The Pat, Pat, uh, Bachelor in Paradise. Jersey, Real Housewives of Jersey, uh, and of course Vanderpump Rules oh, is taken. Yeah. And you're late to the party on that too. I, mean, I know. I've never. I haven't deep, deep, deep dived right. into Vanderpump Rules, but man, what a blessing! What a blessing! Look at that. Smooth like butter. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Yeah. And then we're gonna wet a little piece. That yeah. way you could see how color it's gonna okay. look like. Okay? Okay. Thank you. So why do you get your hair braided? Besides well, the fact that you look, I needed a new look because I was running into um, shout out to Lisa Renna. I had the same, I've had the same haircut for like most of my most of my working when I was a commercial actress. This is my this is my winning look. Um, it, does, it does smell. It smells like dead hair. We're getting into yeah, the, 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 the Am I deep. losing all your... Yeah, yeah, yeah you're getting into the detail. You, I, I'm you sure. asked me. Anyway, okay. I liked the look, and it was easy, and it's a product, protective, style, protective style. Protecting the hair. Yeah, protecting his hair. And, and it I, looks it was, good. It, 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 you know, and I don't it's know, less it's less um, maintenance, maintenance, right? Maintenance, whatever. I, I don't know how good it looks, but it's it you was look easy. You look great. Thanks, babe. But it, it was easy. Be, be and, honest. And, be, and be totally honest. I look younger. But so be honest with me. When you're walking around the streets with your hair braided, I know you were doing it during the winter. Were you getting more attention no. from men? No, You're lying. But, but she I don't know. Say, she don't it, know. No, wait. Can My I wife almost got hit by a car the other day. She doesn't know what's going on. No, in the street. that's not true. But can I tell you one thing? That when we were in New Orleans, I was standing on the street corner, and he was very, very drunk, and maybe, maybe um, displaced. But he did say, he goes, "Oh shit, Zoe Kravitz," and I looked up, and he was like, "Oh no," but for that alone. I'm getting for, my hair braided again. Getting, for, the, for that one drunk guy in New Orleans to yeah, mistake you for the moment for Zoe Kravitz. Yeah. 
We're, we're, we're here I'm again. I'm doing it again. Yes. At Lugo's, the best, the best in New York. Yes. Yeah. Right. No, here. Water. So, okay, so, so what do we got here? This is your wife's hair. Okay. So, and she. And what, by the way, you're, how old are you? <laughs> tell, tell the people so they can, you can yeah. ship them out. How gorgeous. Oh, my God. Born in 1965. 1965. You do the math. Exactly. You don't have to say it is. You do the math. All right, anyway, go ahead. That. So, we're going to wet this. When your braid it, does it. The wet and wavy. The wet and wavy look. I'm next. Uh, that. That. Let's see. Just wetting it. And then she's just going to pull it through with a comb. This is Michael's favorite texture now. Yes. Look at that. My favorite texture. Look at that. Perfect. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Wet and wavy. Lugo's famous. <laughs> Our signature texture. All right, so that was a success. Got my hair. I got my hair. Next time we'll show you when it's all braided up real nice and real proper like. We're looking fantastic. Gorgeous hair. Gorgeous day in New York. It's so nice. Out. Beautiful day. Take it easy, folks. Thanks for doing that, babe. You're welcome.